All right, great. And I'm, I'm, this is Karen Richardson and my brother here, Richard Hart. We both run the Freedom Families Thrive Hub. Um, and we're really delighted to have with us today uh, Tom Hicken. And Tom, you generated a heck of a lot of, a lot of interest. Um, now, I saw an, uh, a Facebook post drop in one of the groups I'm in, which is the Alternative um, Awakened Education group which we we also have links with as well uh, richard works a lot with yeah. sarah beal and um yeah. you know you you dropped a, a a post in there and i i i just kind of read over it. oh wow this is exciting and i i just copied it and pasted it on my own wall you know i i didn't really know that much about it at the time and um the response i got personally on my own um facebook um, wall was absolutely phenomenal and I thought Do you know what I need to find out who this guy is and, and find <laughs> out more, more information on this project because I had so many people saying how do I get involved tell me more about it I'm like I don't know anymore <laughs> this is all I know um, so yeah. that's when I then reached out to you um, it sounds like a really amazing project. I think it was on my radar a little while back, but it all went a bit quiet. I think you you were talking about a barn or something back then. But let's start from the very beginning um, and right. find out who you are. Um, and, you know, let's let's just learn a little bit more about you and where this project is going. And, you know, who who were you before COVID? Because I think we've all been on a massive, massive journey um, this last 18 yeah. months. So do yeah, tell so us a bit of your background. Before, um, before all this nonsense actually started, um, I ran a building firm, quite a big building firm, to be honest. Um, and I've had, obviously... A mass amount of uh, contractors, commercial contractors, uh, turn around obviously because we we work within sort of um, offices, you know, um, offices, massive housing housing sites, um, gyms, swimming pools, you know, all across the board, um, quite large, quite large building projects, quite large entities. Um, as this sort of um, calamity started, as it were. I had a lot of people turn around to me and say, you know, we're just going to hold fire on jobs. We're going to hold fire on contracts, uh, which obviously slowed my business down. I ended up having to let go of um, about 16, 16 people that were working for me at the time because um, I, I couldn't actually afford to, couldn't afford to keep them on. You know, I couldn't afford to pay these people wages. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't um, going to get involved with the government with regards to these Covid payouts um, because in my eyes I didn't see it as uh, the right thing to do. I didn't see, you know, I don't see any of this um, being right in my eyes. Um, and obviously, I didn't get involved in it. Um, I wasn't actually eligible for any any handouts after I <laughs> after my accountant actually went in to find out. Um, so you know, I had to scale things back and obviously unfortunately get rid of um, a massive amount of people who worked for me um, and these people worked for me some of them upwards of 15 years so um oh, it must have been heartbreaking yeah. one second yeah <clears throat> these put my charger on for my laptop um oh. yeah it was it was really really bad um some of these guys you know were like my brothers um and it was really quite something to have to sack people um, or dismiss people, you know, uh, who I didn't want to, you know, or, or wanted to keep around me, but the money just dried up rapidly, you know. Uh, when we had that second lockdown, um, when there was even news about it, you know, uh, my business completely crashed, completely crashed um, to the point where I think, you know, <clears throat> I had a good couple of hundred thousand pounds worth of building work outstanding. Um, you know near on a million and um wow. every single every single contractor every single uh, commercial entity that i was working with they just literally just pulled out you know um because people aren't going to work in offices anymore you know people are working from home um the whole structure of society has changed hasn't it hugely yeah. so um i ended up having to scale back and i've got a couple of people who work for me now uh, in my building firm but it's nowhere near the scale of, of what I were. 
Yeah, I, I mean, it is crazy how much, you know, everything's changed and it's, I mean, how we've got to where we are, you know, I mean, it sounds as though you were pretty switched on right from the very start of this and you were aware that things were off with the whole thing. I think we were pretty much in the same place as you were. Um, you know, how do you think this whole process has changed you or has it changed you or, or do you still feel you're very much the same person, you know, going um, through this? It's definitely, definitely changed me. Um, I've got a two-year-old son and I ended up going through a um, bit of a sticky situation with him um, and now I've come out of it with 50-50 custody, uh, which is absolutely amazing. You know, Brilliant. I get to spend a week at a time with my son. Uh, which is just absolutely incredible. Um, I started I started running a forest school every every Sunday for children from broken families, um, and you know I, I I started it because obviously there's a lot of single parents, whether that be male or female, um, that don't really necessarily get on with the opposite sex because they think everyone's bad from the situations they've they've been through. Um, so I ended up setting up a forest school and had people from all walks of life turn up from all over the country. This is based in Warwickshire. Um, and obviously it's it's helped a lot of people regain their faith in the opposite sex and also uh, created a massive community, you know. Um, I think there's uh, about 80 something people in the group. Um, we, haven't, we haven't actually had one for quite some time because I've been stupidly, stupidly busy fundraising. <laughs> Um, running raffles, selling pumpkins. It's literally Amazing. absolutely unbelievable. I mean, if you've seen anything that's been going on, on with uh, my Facebook posts, then you'll, you'll understand um, the lengths that I've gone to to raise so much money and obviously, um, you know, inevitably inspire so many people as well. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, that that post really certainly inspired me and it obviously hit a chord with a lot of people. And, and obviously the main thing for all of us, I think, on this call, it's the kids, you know, it's the children, yeah. Um, yeah. our children and other people's children. And the, the group that we are, you know, we've created, the, the main crux, the main issue is that people want to get their children out of the school systems yeah. and they're, they're meeting all these different obstacles and we're trying to help people through that. Um, and that's particularly one of the reasons I wanted to reach out to you because I think what you're doing is really special and I can see a lot of people wanting to replicate that. Um, Yes. You, know, you know, I think we now need to talk about what the project is, um, you know, the school, as is as put it in, you know, um, you, you kind of I think you've named it that. Um, and, you know, what was your inspiration for it, really? Where did that come from? I mean, I, I guess from the forest schooling and that, but, you know, in your own words. Yes. Um, initially, obviously, it came from the forest school that I run. However, <clears throat> I'm quite on a spiritual wavelength and. I was actually told, <laughs> not to sound crazy to some people, but you know, to me, it's completely normal. Um, I was told by my spiritual healer uh, that there was a crowd of about 20 spirits um, there around me every single day, and that I was going to be guided into this um, area of my life, which makes my hair stand on end now, even talking about it, because it's absolutely, completely crazy what's been going on around me. Um, divine intervention at every single step of the way. It is absolutely unbelievable. I um, I got told by um, a lady who's very, very close to me, uh, one of my healers, and she obviously told me that this was going to be my life. And within 12 hours, I decided to start making moves because I'm just, I got to the point where I'm sick, of, I'm sick and tired of posting crap on Facebook, you know, yeah. and speaking to the same echo chamber of people. Um, you can only do that for such an amount of time before, you know, um, reality actually kicks in and you need to just get up off your ass and do something about it, really. Um, and it, that was my time, I think. Obviously, I made moves very, very quickly. All of this has happened in the last two months, you know, and it's absolutely unbelievable. You know, I'm being interviewed left, right and centre um, for being pure of heart. It's not I don't want to be rich, famous, anything like that whatsoever. I'm doing this. For the better of society that is literally the only reason you know um and everybody sees that with me you know everyone sees that i'm i'm on that wavelength and um the positivity that i have uh, <laughs> is literally unbreakable you know it is um i think all of us on this uh path you know who are doing things for children have had 
uh, problems or traumas in the past as a child, you know, which has inevitably made people wake up to this and, you know, think that they need to do something, you know, and I'm no different to that at all. You know, I had, I had many issues in my childhood um, that have woken me up to this and made me care so much more, you know, about the future for everyone, including obviously my son. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just spiralled completely out of control um, to the point where, you know, we've got a Telegram channel running now. Um, within the last four or five days, we've had a thousand people join, uh, nearly 300 people um, who actually want to take action that are setting up schools across the country. You know, people who want to come and build, people who want to come and teach, people who want to come and heal, um, you know, general practitioners that want to come and join. I've, um, <clears throat> I've joined forces with some of the most supreme beings you would ever, ever meet. Honestly, it's, it's absolutely incredible. Some of the people who are on my team, I've got a, um, I've got a team behind the scenes called the A Team, <laughs> and uh, it is literally quite that. It really is, you know. We are smashing through things at the moment, and so that's not your I'm, angelic team, though. That's the other A Team. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the team on this plane, yeah. But you know, the the angelic team are always there, anyway, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we are smashing through things at the moment at quite a pace, and. Um, I'm very honoured, you know, to be in this position in my life. I'm on, honestly, I'm very humbled that you've even asked me to come and do a, a radio show or a talk show with you. It's just, um, it's, it's really, yeah, it's overwhelming <laughs> to be completely honest with you because I'm just a little builder. That's, <laughs> that's all I am. But, you know, everybody's seeing so much inspiration from me and everyone's, you know, everyone's actually empowering themselves. You know, that's, we've got, um, we've got a uh, Telegram chat every Wednesday now um and the last one it had 30 or something people in it you know now we're at obviously a thousand a thousand subscribers which is just unbelievable um i expect it to be quite something you know we've got um some absolutely unbelievable minds uh coming and taking part within this show um obviously they're educating people with with regards to affidavits and um how to actually you know empower yourself and not and not bow down to the the <laughs> the illegal systems of control that are in place at the moment, which are just complete, you know, it's a complete joke what is going on in society at the moment and people are bowing down to it because they don't understand terminology. You know, they don't understand the actual, um, the meanings behind words like mandate. Yeah. You know, you have to consent for a, for a mandate. You can't, yes. nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing in this whole diabolical situation can be forced upon you, you know. But um, obviously the government and the powers that be and the elites are just um, they're <laughs> brainwashing people with fear, as we all know. And um, mm. it's working, you know, it's working. They've done really well. They've done really, really well. Take my hats off to them. But, you know, yeah. I'm here to change that. You know, I know I'm here to change that. Um, yeah. and I'm going to you know, and you're going to see big, 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 big things happening in the next couple of weeks. You really are. Honestly, we've. Um, We've teamed up with uh, an organisation called Humanity Health, which they are mapping out all of the um, GPs, the doctors, the nurses, um, everyone within the NHS who doesn't want this um, experimental jab, you know. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, if, we know the one. <laughs> if all these people don't want this experimental jab, yet they work within the NHS, surely that has got to tell you something, you know. Um, but this, uh, this organisation, they're mapping out all of these people, um, across the United Kingdom, you know, Scotland, everywhere, Wales, uh, Ireland, all over the place. And uh, we are working in conjunction with these, um, with these people, with these beautiful people who are doing this. Uh, they're on the same wavelength um, as I, you know, they are doing this for the better of society. You know, they're doing this for the future generations, not for any, any wealth or for any financial gain or, you know, any fame or anything like that, you know. They're just real people, you know, wanting to make a difference. Um, so <clears throat> moving forwards, obviously, with regards to the amount of people that are now setting up these school in education, these schools of, of you know, practical learning, as it were. Um, yeah, life skills, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah basic life skills. Um, we're planning to implement health workers into these entities to, you know, be able to offer natural remedies and obviously natural cures for um, things that you would be palmed off with a pharmaceutical receipt for, you know? Um, yeah. 
I'm pretty, in fact, I'm not pretty confident. I'm massively, massively confident that this is going to work, you know. Um, I have no doubt about this whatsoever because, um, you know, a lot of people think I'm crazy and a nut job or whatever, but I have um, I have past life regression. I don't know whether you ever heard of that at all. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> I have past life regression with um, an absolutely amazing, amazing woman. Um, who's taken me back to, you know, uh, childhood trauma and um, issues within my past. Um, and she's also taken me forwards into the future 10 years. And I've already seen what's been built, you know, and people might think I'm an absolute nut job by saying this, but this is why I am sat here confident as anything, because I know 100% what is going to what is going to happen. And it's uh, it's massively, massively empowering. Um, I'm not a nut job, honest. No, no, no honestly. <laughs> <laughs> with you you you, you are because you're with all of us nut jobs you know and, yeah, yeah, and nut job not, is the I'm, new normal <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with job, yeah. yeah yeah i mean i'd love to hear if, if you want to share i would actually love to hear what that that was you know what you saw in 10 years time it's up to you though you don't have to share, but no, no i'm not going to share okay all right, right. <laughs> that's fine yeah but, we'll but, save it for another interview maybe or another time but yeah it's not coming out today. no that's fine <laughs> But I, I totally agree with you. You know, what we are seeing is this um, shift, isn't it? And it's people who are, um, this is what I've been saying for a while on my own profile. Governments have got to go. They've got to go. But we don't do it with force. We don't do it with, you know, blowing up houses of parliament. We do it by building the new. And that's exactly what you're doing. You know, you make yeah. the old obsolete. And um this is a message I've been trying to get out because I've been doing something similar in my own local community, you know, trying to bring people together. We've only done it for a couple of weeks. So I'm not as far down the road as you are. But, um, you know, it's one of the reasons I wanted to connect to you, because if people are wanting to do this in their own local communities, you know, it's so great that you you are that little bit ahead of us that, that you know, you could probably give us pointers and guidance just by following you. Um, yeah. And I think that's what most people are looking at, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I have already directed people to your Telegram channel. Um, when I joined, it was about 270 people, I think, and then it suddenly went boom, you know, <laughs> it really did take off. Um, you know, so the big vision is obviously that this is more than a school, isn't it? I think yeah, this is awesome. this is a whole solution yeah, to like, the, really the current government uh, systems. Yeah, one hundred percent. Obviously, <clears throat> you can't just move out of the society that we're residing in um, in one single entity. You know, and the hardest thing um, that obviously I've been speaking to a lot of people about is the transition out of this uh, monetary society that we are trapped inside. You know, so many people are a week, two weeks, three weeks maybe, if they're lucky, yeah. away yeah. from starvation, you know, or, you know, not having enough money to pay the rent or whatever. There are a lot of people who are very, very unfortunate, trapped in debt, um, you know, and society is 100% set up to do this, to keep people yeah. in debt, to keep people as, you know, modern day slaves without even realizing, you know, you can't have a week off work when you want because what are you going to do? You know, you're not going to eat. Your children aren't going to eat. You're not going to be able to put petrol in your car. And a lot of people don't realise this. You know, a lot of people are so stuck in the 3D mindset that they don't understand what's even going on, you know. Yeah. Um, but obviously, the transitional period between um, this society collapse and obviously uh, the new world that everyone is now starting to build is going to be one of the trickiest to manage because obviously... Um, with the <clears throat> entities that obviously we're starting to create and structure, um, people are still going to need to be paid. You know, people are still going to need money to survive um, because not everyone knows how to grow their own food. Not everyone has land. Not everyone is able to, you know, access animals or, you know, um, all these things that basically you take for granted every single day when you go to the supermarket after work and buy a meal, you know. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so I think the trickiest thing, but also something that we are really really working on um for instance with the the gps and the nurses obviously being uh, implemented into these entities that are being created um we're planning to charge per you know per visit obviously per um you know um what's the right word for it appointment maybe or... appointment, yeah. yeah sorry i do apologize no no, <laughs> no it's all right it happens to all of us <laughs> yeah to be fair 
obviously I've spoken to probably upwards of about 100 people at the moment with regards to this, say, if we're charging uh, £10 an appointment, you know, just to obviously get checked over. Firstly, to be able to actually see a doctor nowadays in person is just, you know, I think there's a 12 day wait or something like that, um, unless it's an absolute emergency. But then most people are just being directed straight to A&E, aren't they, or hospital? Yeah. Um, yeah. So a lot of people obviously are very much interested in doing that, even if it's £10 and then to, you know, to come out with... Um, a uh, printed out natural remedy that you can actually go and either buy or source yourself you know that is 100 percent the way forward um holistic healing nat naturopaths you know um yes. being able to understand how to forage things that are actually going to be at benefit for your body rather than just coming away with a uh, a pharmaceutical receipt for something that basically has a million side effects and also is a detriment to your body you know um so speaking to a lot of a lot of people about this and every single person that I've spoken to is massively, massively interested. Um, and if this is actually going to become a thing, this will inevitably support the entities that are being created, you know, and obviously pay wages as well for these doctors and nurses at the same time. Um, I mean, the school that I'm creating at the moment in Warwickshire is um, we're going to be running uh four days a week and um, Fridays are going to be corporate days. So obviously we'll have um, team building exercises, um, you know, mental health awareness, um, spirit, you know, guided meditation, etc. whatever the, whatever the actual corporate entities require. Um, and and that's that will, help fund. In every, that will, yeah, yeah, that will bring in, a, bring in a lot of funding and obviously help, help things run. I mean, I've vetted upwards of um, 40 teachers so far uh, for this, for this one school in Warwickshire wow. and, the majority, if not all of these people have said that they'll volunteer for free, you know, however, um, as society does crumble and does collapse, you know, people aren't going to be able to do that, you know, it's going to get tighter and tighter and tighter for everyone as we see so many more businesses get closed down, so many more people are, you know, losing bank accounts. Um, <laughs> It's, it's a really, really hard thing to, to, to manage, obviously, the transitional period, but um, we've got to start doing it now. We've got to start working it out because, obviously, if we're actually going to make a difference and we're actually going to build this new world and pull away from the, the broken, dystopian system that we're in, you know, um, we've just got to make it work. Yeah, I, to I totally agree with you. I mean, that's part of the ethos behind the Freedom Families group that we've got, you know, as I said at the beginning, one of the, the main issues people have is, is income. If they if they want to yeah. home educate, they've got to, you know, take their kids out of school. They, they can't go out to work anymore. So it's, this is actually, I'm going to just drop it in there, but this is something thing we're actually addressing. We've got a, a roundtable panel meeting on Thursday with various experts. Richard, actually, my brother, he's a, a crypto expert. We've got, um, you know, right. people who can tell you how to set up your own businesses and doing something you love, working on your passions or just something you're very good at. Um, I myself, I'm an internet marketer. I sell, you know, affiliate products online through my website. Um, so there, there's, there are a lot of options out there that can get you, you know, get those corporate hooks out of you, if you see what I mean. So people can be a little bit more independent. Um, yeah. And I think, you know, bringing all this stuff together is really going to be helpful. And I think what you're bringing is absolutely amazing on a practical level. And, you know, we need to work at this from all sides, don't we? So that people feel supported. Um, yeah, we need to unite, basically. That's what we need to do. We need to unite everybody together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, exactly millions, that. Millions, millions and millions and millions of people like us. Um, the main problem in my eyes is there's so many different segregated groups of us, you know, all over. And people are just fighting for ego and fighting for clout and fighting for how many likes I can get on a bloody status or a bloody video, you know, and people just need to get rid of all of that and they do. get together, yeah. you know, and sort this, sort this out because, you know, if you've got a million, there's a million's way too short for how many people there are like us, you know, and more and more people are waking up every day, aren't they? Um, you know, even a lot of my friends who have been, um, who have been double jabbed or, you know, they've had this, this vaccine and now turning around and, actually waking up and saying what i've got to have another one you know i've got to have another one i'm not fully vaccinated and uh, actually starting to realize that it's the biggest con that's ever been <laughs> put forward to society you know 
Um, but obviously, we're working against really, really evil people here, aren't we? So um, yeah, you know. but but we're, but you know, the difference is, and this is one of the things that the leaders are coming through. They're the ones with authenticity and heart. And like you say, it's not coming from a place of ego. And I know I sort of said to you, look, I've got quite a big following on Facebook, but honestly. <laughs> I was cringe at myself saying that because I, I don't even know why people follow me, to be honest. With you. Do you know what I mean? And, um, uh, you know, it, this is the thing. The natural leaders will rise up because of their service to other people, yeah. because they are leading from that authentic, you know, heart led place. Um, and yeah. I think, you know, that's exactly where you're at. That's where, you know, we're coming from as well. We're, we're, we're not in it for a popularity contest. In fact, I feel a bit icky about the whole thing but you know at the moment it's the best way to connect um with other people and get the messages out there um yeah it, you know I, I think what we're doing is you know and what you're doing is absolutely incredible and I'm really excited for you really want to follow your progress and um I know at the moment um you're saying the main way people get involved is to join your telegram channel and probably jump on the chat on a Wednesday is that correct yeah, I mean, basically, we've uh, we've got the channel set up um, with a couple of posts in there that are pinned. Um, and what we are asking people to do is to come on, uh, drop their name, their location, what they can actually bring to the table, you know, what they actually want to do. Um, and it's proved so, so successful um, in, you know, four or five days. We've had people who want to set up their schools that we've never connected with on Facebook or Instagram. Um, we've had uh, doctors, nurses. GPs, uh, pilots, <laughs> you know. Wow. The is, uh, yeah, the list is your own, incredible. Your own airport scene. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? One of the one of the uh, one of the schools that's being set up has actually just been gifted a plane. So um, this is how this is how crazy this journey is. Um, <clears throat> one of the uh, one of the other people who's in my my team, um, she's she's actually a master manifester. Um, like I say, these people are supreme beings. They really, really are, you know. Um, and it fills me with such hope and such positivity, the people that uh, I am surrounding myself with. I can't even put it into words, honestly. So um, basically one day uh, they were offered one site and then they got offered another two sites. And on one of the sites, there was uh, a plane. <laughs> and they were giving it for free. Um, the, the day, The day after... I had a pilot on Facebook saying, hi, Tom, been seeing what you're doing. What can I offer? I'm an aviation, I'm a flight instructor. And I was just like, oh, what is going on? You know, it's um, it's absolutely mental. It is literally, I feel like I'm living in a computer game, in a simulation. That is literally what I feel like at the moment. Yeah, um, <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah we are, yeah. But, um, you know, we're winning and we're going to win. We are going to win, you know. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And, um, you know, I hope that I can pass on my inspiration and my positive vibes to every single person along the way. I really, really do. Um, because I believe 100%, you know, I believe I believe in everyone. I believe everyone should believe in themselves more, you know. We've been conditioned so much to look at ourselves like we're unworthy to everything around us, you know, um, from Instagram posts with, you know, absolutely beautiful, amazing looking people to obviously the climate change, uh, the climate change fiasco That's where, cool. you know, you've now got to look at yourself like you shouldn't be alive. You shouldn't be alive. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing anything. Don't <laughs> like breathe out carbon food. dioxide, you heathen. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, don't, don't breathe out. Make sure you just breathe in. <laughs> <laughs> literally a joke it's a joke but obviously everything um that's going on you know everything that's portrayed by the media the news everything um is that detriment to yourself and your soul you know and your psyche um and that's why you know i believe we have a lot of people depressed a lot of people uh, suicidal a lot of people who just think you know what's the point what's the point i'm just going to carry on i'm going to go to work i'm going to stay in this really shit job and i'm going to get jabbed with an experimental vaccine that i don't know what's in it because i just you know i don't care i'm just going to trundle on trundle on and just get get on with it um whereas i'm not like that <clears throat> you know i'm not like that at all and i'm going to try and wake up as many as many people as i possibly can on this journey i really really am yeah. um and what better way to do it actually than just being the epitome of you know 
goodness, kindness, love, you know, and actually just blazing that trail, you know, and, and truth, of course, truth being the big one. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm, very humble, I'm very humble for your words. So thank you. Oh, no, no. It's, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on here. I just want to ask my brother, Richard, is there anything you wanted to ask Tom while we're yeah, no, I know it's absolutely astonishing what you're doing, what you, you're bringing into being here. I mean, it is birthing a new society, isn't it? Basically, that's what we're all trying to do here. I just wondered yeah. if you had sort of a vision as to sort of how the school was going to operate. Um, I mean, yeah, presumably that, that it's going to stay away from like the curriculums as we as we know them. Um, but what you know, what sort of things are the kids that go there? What can they expect? So. <laughs> At the moment, um, it's absolutely unbelievable um, the amount of people that we've got on this. Uh, we've got mechanics, we've got builders, plasterers, electricians, um, you know, people who are involved in plumbing. We've got uh, kinesiologists. We have people who are involved in uh, meta health. We have people who are uh, spiritual healers, um, you know, Reiki masters, um, financial advisors, uh, crypto, you know, crypto gurus, whether crypto actually survives this is another thing um people who actually want to teach real life skills like foraging like survival you know um actually being able to survive off the land um people who are involved in growing their own food you know of um i've just hooked up with a guy who runs an organic farm who um, wants he is literally on this um and he wants to teach children he already teaches children you know how to plant seeds how to um, how to dibble dibble seeds it's called back in the day <laughs> and um, yeah a whole host of other of other things it's um it's absolutely astonishing you know um pts we've got pts that um obviously want to come and teach physical health um people who want to teach mindfulness uh cog cognitive skills you know um the list is uh, it's really never ending you know and people basically from everything we're not taught at the moment <laughs> Everything we're not taught at the moment, basically. Yeah. More. Yeah. 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 <laughs> amazing. That is amazing. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't have any anything else to add, really. I just yeah. think, just to say congratulations <laughs> on doing what you're doing, sir. It's just incredible. <laughs> you, I, I've got to say thank you as well, because you've brought me so much hope. You know, uh, the last few days, I've been a bit under that dark cloud of just seeing the doom and gloom. And, and every now and again, you know, I, I managed to lift myself out a bit, of course, but, but talking to you, it's just amazing. And just making me see where I'm at at two weeks in and we've only just started and you've just given me so much more hope that actually this can go somewhere this can work you know um and if we can all link arms and and you know have that open um communication not, not back and forth yeah it's not can it's it will it will, it will. Work. yeah no, you're right yeah <laughs> living in hope i'm not living in hope i'm not living in um negative words you know not at all um we are doing we are actually being and we are creating you know and that's what's going forward it really is there's no hope about it there's no hope about it <laughs> i love that <laughs> oh tom is there anything else you want to add um before we you know finish this um interview um I think we've covered everything at the moment. I mean, if there are more people out there that want to get involved, um, we need loads of rich people is what we need. <laughs> we need loads, we need loads, we need loads. All you rich people watching this, <laughs> get in contact. I love people, that, yes, uh, please. <laughs> it's the truth, it really is, you know. Um, yeah. I, um, I've, I've been working my ass off to get where I am with this project. You know, it's taken over my life. It's taken over every single aspect of my life. Um, and I don't intend to stop and I don't intend to falter with this at all. You know, I've had people walk into my life. Um, I've had people donate um, to the crowdfunder three and a half thousand dollars, one just one person, you know. Um, and obviously, you know, it works out to be two and a half grand, something like that. But <clears throat> for one person to donate that on mm -hmm. their own is just incredible, you know. Um, and there are obviously more and more people out there who want to do the same, who want to make a difference. Um, we need buildings, you know, I mean, I've put out for buildings, I've manifested for buildings, for derelict buildings and land, and it is coming in thick and fast. But wow. obviously, um, I'm, doing, I'm not doing this just for 
the school that I'm creating. I'm trying to help everybody. I'm trying to give everyone a kick up the ass to get off their seats, you know, to get up, stand up and make a difference and actually set up something yourself. You know, it doesn't if I can do this in two months, you know, if I can get off my ass and create all of this, then everybody can do this. Everyone can do this with a bit of belief in themselves. Um, it really is just actually believing in yourself, you know, manifesting in yourself, asking the universe, you know, ask the universe. I speak to, everyone thinks I'm an absolute nut job, you know, <laughs> literally. I speak to the universe, I speak to my spirit guides every single day, you know, I ask for things to be brought forward to me. This is how it works. This is yeah. how you get things in life, you know, um, and people don't believe it. People don't believe all these all these old rituals and these old old things that are real, you know, it's yeah, real. Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah. Um, people just don't believe it. People think that's a load of, you know, mumbo jumbo, whatever. I won't. Woo woo is the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to be yeah. called the queen of woo woo, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. But, I mean, this is the thing. If I can do this in two months and create all of this around me, then I'm sure another 100,000 people can do exactly the same. And then the situation sorted. It's it's literally that. It'll simple, snowball. You know? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic, what a great message. <laughs> I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? So, Tom, I just want to say, oh, thank you so much for leading the charge, for being the inspiration, and you are an inspiration, um, you know, without a doubt. Um, and, you know, what, what's lovely is you're not full of the, the you know, the bluster and the grandioseness. You're just, you're just you, and you're doing the thing that comes from your heart, and it's probably coming from yeah. source as well. And... Um, you know, so I just want to thank you for that, for actually acting on it, because a lot of people get those nudges, but they don't actually act on it. And um, you are. And I want to say thank you on behalf of humanity <laughs> or mankind, I should say. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That's it. Yeah. OK, thanks. <laughs> I'm just a little builder. Literally, that's all I am. I'm just a little builder. It's crazy. I've been projected into this path in life and I'm still pinching myself every day, you know, because I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe what is going on around me. And it's just, um, it's all pure of heart, you know. It's coming straight from my heart because I care, because I want to make a difference, you know, not just for, for me, not just for my child, but for everybody. Everyone deserves this. Like, everyone deserves this. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And, and our children, especially everybody's children, deserves deserves the future way we want to give them, you know, the, the, the one, the way from the broken systems. They deserve so much better. Bless their little hearts. They're, they're the innocence in all this. And um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it always brings a lump to my throat whenever we talk about the children. But yeah, but anyway, again, thank you so much for joining us today really really appreciate it yeah. thank you <laughs>